There's no denying it's been a hard few weeks. Really a hard couple of months. My mother passed back in September, just before the school year started. And as I already knew, running a school is no easy task. Still, I'm happy for these days to get outside, sit down with a pipe, a couple of books and a notebook, and just relax, decompress from everything. Today, I want to share with you a, a new acquisition, a new book I got. In fact, it's a very old book. It was published in 1927 here in the States, put together by, I think, the grandson or great-grandson of a famous poet. It's a beautiful little blue hardback book, just absolutely lovely pages. The uh, original owner made many marks in it, not least of which being this uh, page of handwritten notes, presumably about the, well, certainly about the poet's life, and I'm assuming uh, written to give some kind of presentation, taking the book up with him and making the presentation with book in hand. It's a collection of Samuel Taylor Coleridge's poems. And for those of you who followed this channel at all, you'll know Coleridge is an important poet to me. He's one that I've found a lot of solace in over the years. In this beautiful, beautiful little edition it was a gift, a gift from uh, one of our parents. It's a beautiful collection. Uh, it includes some of my favorite poems, Frost at Midnight, uh, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Christabel, It's just stunning, and I, I can't begin to say thank you to the parent who gave it to me. As I've said, Coleridge is a, a poet who's been so important to me and to my growth and my development as a poet, as a person. Uh, you know, recently, it was his 250th uh, anniversary of his birthday. There was a big to-do up in England about it. One of my favorite living poets, Malcolm Guyte, was there and gave a wonderful address. And while this is usually the case, I'm a little behind on these things, I thought I'd just take a moment and read uh, a poem of, of Coleridge's for you. There are so many good ones uh, that I could read. So many that say something so important. But there's one I, I rediscovered today as I was a uh, Flipping through it briefly. It's a short poet. It's a short poem. Um, a sonnet. But it seemed appropriate given the time of year. It's a sonnet to the autumnal moon. I'll read it for you now. 
mild splendor of the various vested night, mother of the wildly working visions, hail. I watch thy gliding while with watery light thy weak eye glimmers through a fleecy veil. And when thou lovest thy pale orb to shroud behind the gathered blackness lost on high, and when thou dartest from the wind-rent cloud thy placid lightning o'er the awakened sky, ah, such is hope, as changeful and as fair, now dimly peering on the wistful sight, now hid behind the dragon-winged despair, but soon emerging in her radiant might, she o'er the sorrow-clouded breast of care sails, like a meteor kindling in its flight. One of the fathers, in a way, of the Romantic movement, at least the English Romantic movement, Coleridge, um, even in his younger days, did see things a little more clearly. Um, and I think he saw them even more clearly as he got older, despite the fact that poetry became less and less something he worked on, due in part to the influence of William Wordsworth, who made him think that he was better off as an editor of Wordsworth's own poetry and uh, not a good writer of his own. And that combined with his increasing addiction to opium and the problems that that wrought on him Coleridge's poetic work lessened. But he never lost that sense of the moon as a kind of mediated light, the moon as uh, a way of something bigger coming at us in a way that we can receive it. You know, this showed up in The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, where it's only in the moon's light that the mariner can finally see these things that he's initially thought of as slimy snakes and, and grotesque creatures as beautiful, right? having a, an elfin light about them. Like I said, it's been, you know, a rough couple of months, but it's opportunity to sit outside with an old friend, a nice pipe. It helps. It certainly helps. Farewell, my friends. Live in blessedness. And when you sit in peace with your pie, think of me. <laughs>